That's it? No, there's two more. This one? Yeah, and the other one. You got these clips on it. Should we just break these clips here? Spin. Go ahead. Keep going. We'll see it's coming on. Okay. I think we should just leave it like that. What do you guys think? Leave it like this? That would look epic. <laughs> it looks so ugly. Guys, so a couple days ago you saw me on Christmas. That was actually Christmas Day. Me and my dad putting a new grill in my truck. Looks so sweet. I'll put up a couple clips of the grill in the dark. Right now? Yeah. Or now? <laughs> Go. I'm kidding. It's recording. Turn on the lights. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he'll break a mirror. He'll break a mirror. Dude, not gonna make it. Oh, you are? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> well, we also put on the roll off bed cover, which is one of those ones that rolls up and you can clip it so it stays at the front of the truck and then it rolls back over. So it's like waterproof, snowproof, and um, it, I think it saves like 15% on my gas mileage. But also, I just thought I'd show you guys a couple of things I got, um, not to like brag or anything, just like some cool stuff that are gonna be definitely featured in some videos soon. As you can already tell, the lighting in here is way, way better. I have these studio lights, one right there, and they're actually not even at full brightness right now. One right there. They have stands too. I think they're like 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll link them down below, because if you need any like lights for your setup, um, I'm gonna use these for product photography as well as my setup. If you need lights, these are literally so nice. They're, they're just USBs, and they come with their own stand and everything, you can turn them on and off. They have like a little switch and you can dim them. So they're super nice little things that I got that are definitely going to be used soon, especially tomorrow, because I'll tell you about what's happening tomorrow. This super dope uh, GoPro selfie stick, which is incredibly, incredibly long. This is like the medium range that it goes. I think it's probably about three feet. It goes up to five or six feet, I believe. Here, almost at the end of my, like the corner of my room. This thing probably stretches the entire length of my room so as you can tell can you see it? it's pretty freaking long it's probably like probably like six and a half feet and then uh so it's six and a half three feet and then i believe like foot and a half carbon fiber it's super sturdy super super lightweight for when i go snowboarding a new reservoir because my other one broke for my camelback backpack so we got one of these reservoir with the straw so that is going to be used quite a bit also a really dope thing that i got is this outdoor like pop-up pop-up it's like an outdoor hammock I'm not gonna take the whole thing out but it comes with rope and like hammock and you can tie it around a tree and just set up the hammock like outside it's for camping and stuff like that my girlfriend got it for me super awesome i'm gonna bring this to like fishing spots and camping spots that are just gonna be super dope this summer and just like chill out with the hammock and fish which is gonna be so sick i got this jacket um for my grandma which is very very nice it's from legend white tails i believe that's what it's called super nice hooded buttons all the way down and then like obviously this like i was showing you this nice material inside super super nice sorry guys had to change the battery real quick on my camera um another really quick thing i got um my girlfriend also got me this can't hurt me by david goggins i really wanted this book and i've wanted to read it for a while right now i'm reading oh it's up there so i can't show you it's on my bed but I'm reading the alchemist I forget the guy's name but i'm reading the alchemist if you haven't read it it's kind of like a um realizes his path through life it's kind of like a philosophical book but it's really cool but i really want to read this can't hurt me and i also have another book how to Win Friends and Influence People. This book um, is apparently very, very good. My cousin lent it to me to read it, but I haven't read it yet. But I'll probably read The Alchemist, then read this just so I can give it back to him. Then I'll read the David Goggins book, because I'm really excited to read both of these books. So yeah, I got those. Um, I got a couple of these really cool tiki tumblers. This one's Baby Yoda. I love these things, dude. I have a Jon Snow one. I have this one now, and I also have a Stormtrooper one, which is super sick. They're like $10, and like, I used to get pop figures all the time, like here's a Cal Drogo pop figure, and like these are cool or whatever, but like, honestly, I think these look cooler than the pop figures, and you can drink out of them. So like, they're literally the same price, so why wouldn't I just buy the cup? These lights are super, super nice, I'm really glad that I asked for them, because they're so cheap. Um, they make the quality so much better in here, like, my, my camera would never autofocus and focus this well without the lights being here. Like, look at that. 
that focus is crazy. I used to have to stand in front of the wind arc out. It would be awful. I'd like open up two Chrome browsers on my monitors to like make it brighter. So of course, we're also gonna be talking about what is coming up for this year. What is coming up for 2021? So I'm super excited. Heard me say in the last vlog, I've been working on my company Drink Up People. Really the main objective for this year is working on Drink Up People, YouTube, grinding, then just work, just playing lacrosse. I think my season starts January 28th, so we have about 30 days until the season really starts. So, I mean, it's full grind time. I'm gonna be getting back in the routine, getting back into shape, getting back into running. I mean, I'm obviously not out of shape, but I haven't ran in probably a month. Just lacrosse, YouTube grinding, and drink up people. I'm trying to make some money on drink up people and just keep grinding out these ads, keep grinding out all the content, keep grinding out the web design, everything. It's really just those main three things. I wanna really go hard on YouTube, go hard and drink up people. Modern lacrosse, I, we're taking a different approach now. We're not gonna be selling a ton online. It's just gonna be more, and we're not gonna be doing ad spend. We're just gonna be doing organic content reach and uh, we're gonna be selling at lacrosse events, which I think is honestly just the best way to do it because what I found through like, it doesn't matter how good the website looks or how good the ads look or how good the traffic is. People my age aren't gonna buy their own clothes. Like obviously this shirt, like I love this shirt and it, it's a big one, big logo on the back. Like this shirt's comfortable, it's nice, it's it's dope, it's a dope shirt. But um, no one my age, like, like I don't buy my own clothes. I know like nobody else my age is gonna buy their own clothes, especially guys don't buy their own clothes and that's mainly who we're targeting. The only time we're gonna get sales is when parents buy them, so that's why we had a big influx in Black Friday. I think we did like 700 in sales or 800 in that weekend. You know, nobody my age is gonna buy it, so it's really just parents for like birthdays and Christmas. And then like the big thing is at lacrosse events, so many parents buy their kids clothes, tournament apparel, other apparel, like the Goat USA people literally have, they don't do content, they don't do ads, they don't even sell online, they just sell at events and they do crazy numbers. They literally primarily sell at events, so I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I think it's gonna be really fun to just sell at events and like have a good time and like have some mini games for the kids to play. Just like sell there, that's gonna be so fun. But yeah, so that's really my approach for 2021. We're gonna be doing YouTube grinding, of course. Tomorrow, we are go I'm going to Mount Snow with a couple of my friends, so big content day there. Friday, I'm going to Okemo, hopefully going to Bretton Woods this month, and then just Killington a bunch of times we're going to, because I think it's like $70 if we book the tickets right now. $70 for the day, so cheap. So content in terms of snowboarding, fishing, lacrosse, and just doing whatever else I do, I wanna put out at least like one YouTube video a week. One or two YouTube videos a week and just keep it consistent. I've been pretty consistent so far. Usually I used to just record YouTube videos in the summer, but now like I'm starting to record more and more. And um, I did take last month off just because of work and stuff, but I wanna get heavily, heavily back into YouTube and make sure that I'm grinding on it. Another big thing is streaming. So I'm gonna be playing some more Warzone. I actually have Warzone right now. My controller just disconnected, that's why it looks like that. But I have Warzone up right now. I'm gonna be streaming a ton more. I used to stream always. You know, I've always just loved streaming. Like, it's honestly just something I enjoy doing, like entertaining people on stream. So I'm gonna be streaming a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna post any, like, I'm not gonna post any, like, gaming YouTube videos, whether it be, like, Chell, Minecraft, or, like, um, Warzone. I'm not gonna post any YouTube videos of it just because, I mean, I would do a separate channel if I ever did, but I don't have the time to, like, edit YouTube videos of gaming and stuff like that right now. I don't, and I just enjoy streaming more. So I'm probably gonna post like some clips and stuff on Twitch. I used to be God Craze on Twitch. They used to be my name in the gaming community like Craze and then it was God Craze, but uh, I actually don't know what the name is gonna be yet. So it's either Owen Palmer Zero or Owen Palmer. Just go in the description right now and click the link if you wanna go follow it. I'm gonna be posting all the clips and like short videos on there, as well as obviously doing big streams. So I'm super excited about that. So yeah, that's really just the plan for 2021. I just wanna like limit myself from doing like all these things and like branching out and just spreading myself too thin. We're just gonna be doing YouTube, which is just documenting like everything I do. So it's really not like another thing I have to worry about. Just YouTube, drink up people, modern lacrosse, and lacrosse playing, obviously, because I'm just gonna be grinding lacrosse. That's only for the spring. So like the summer and the fall and everything, I'm just trying to make my money, trying to save my money, and that's just it. Just trying to make money this year, trying to build up drink up people and just work on my e-commerce skills um, as a whole in terms of selling online with Drink Up People and the ad creative and the targeting and everything that has to do because there's just so many different, there's just so many different demographics for categories because we obviously have like 50 plus categories. And then my selling in person with Modern Lacrosse and stuff like that at tournaments and events, which I'm just like so excited about. Like the thought of like packing the truck full of like tents and clothes and like having it all in bins and just like packing it all in the truck, driving down to Maryland for the weekend or like for the day even, I would honestly just drive down for the day, sell for eight hours, 
and just drive back. I'd probably spend a thousand dollars on inventory, and then I I bet you we'd sell at least a hundred items. For most of these tournaments, I mean, lacrosse parents go crazy. If you guys like have never been to a lacrosse tournament, they just go crazy. They buy literally everything for their kids. They'll walk out of there spending like five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. So I'm hoping to capitalize on that, and I'm just so excited to sell in person. Like have people come up to the 10 and that's just how word of mouth i think that's what i'm really going to work on just word of mouth people wearing the stuff once we start selling at tournaments that's how goat usa did it and they're really really big now um in the lacrosse community at least that's how they did it there's no point in me working super hard on modern lacrosse while i'm trying to build a drink of people when it's really not going to work out in terms of ad spend as i've already seen for like the last year so it really wasn't a failure it was just kind of a learning experience i think i spent like four or five hundred dollars on ad spend over the last year for modern lacrosse but it the return on ad spend was about a dollar. I didn't really lose any money, but I didn't really also make any money this year with my modern lacrosse. But moving into 2021, I think we're gonna start making some money. I think we've got it dialed down to where we're really just gonna advertise for the holidays. That's about it. Black Friday advertising went really well, but every other part of the year obviously really didn't. So just gonna be selling in person and then online for the holiday season. So drink up people, we hit the holiday season pretty late this year. I think the website was up and running and ads started running December 10th or December 11th, which is obviously just way too late. Missed the holiday window completely. We didn't have any sales and I'm still working on the website. Like I'm still trying to perfect the website and perfect everything. This year going into 2021, I wanna be selling online all year round, obviously. I'm gonna be going to a couple different local, just like markets, like type of thing, where if there's like a trade show, not, if there's like a uh, if there's like a festival or an event near me with like vendors, I think I'm just gonna go to it and see if people would buy them just to sell them. Just because to me it's like really fun to sell stuff in person. So, but mainly we're just gonna be working on rolling out ads, starting with a. So we're gonna be doing PPE broad targeting, and then after we have a PPE running for five days, we get the data on that. We're gonna do a lookalike based on one percent of the people that engaged a conversion lookalike campaign based on that and that's how i've been running it but it just takes a long time because every single category has to have its own campaign its own ppe campaign that then transfers into a conversion campaign which takes a while because you have to have five days of ppe and then going into conversion and i have to build all of the ads for every single category so it's like four ads per category 50 categories five days per category that's a long time so slowly by surely i'm going to be rolling out these category ad sets right now it's only happy hour wine new year's and country that's it and i haven't done the conversions yet that's all the ppe those four are the ppe can, um, campaigns that have run and um you guys might not know what i'm talking about but i just love talking about this so i'm sorry so that is what we're going to be doing in terms of drink up people on my e-commerce skills just making them perfect perfecting it all year round and then hopefully just keeping it running for like the next couple of years and just seeing where it takes me and um, seeing where the whole company goes and as a whole. You know, I don't know where I'm gonna take it. Probably just keep selling it and um, I don't know. Yeah, just keep it keep it going. I just wanna keep building it, keep building it on e-commerce and just get a really good at e-commerce and uh, Facebook ads. Just get really good at Facebook ads. And then YouTube, gonna be doing fishing videos, snowboarding videos, lacrosse videos, vlogs, travel videos, everything under the sun, as always. Tons of cool, fun YouTube videos that I'm always gonna be doing. And um, I really just love making these YouTube videos and I've just, I, I've been having a, tr a hard time scheduling. You guys might have saw my scheduling my whole like week where I had my calendar, like every single week was blocked out. I really liked that and then I stopped doing it for whatever reason, but I'm gonna start doing it again because I really like planning out exactly what I'm gonna do and then making sure it gets done. Because I tend to get lost in all the ideas that I have. I just need to focus on one or a couple things at a time instead of having a million ideas and wanting to do them all at the same time. I thought I'd just make this video to recap, you know, what we're going to be doing in 2021. This year's been really great, even though COVID, like, sucked, obviously, because, like, I couldn't do much. But this year's been really great in terms of, like, building both Modern Lacrosse and Drink of People, the foundations of both of those companies I built this year. My YouTube game has gotten a lot better been working on actually making these videos at least a little bit entertaining for you guys and uh, hopefully in the future we're gonna get even better at that just cutting out the boring stuff cutting out the boring stuff having a high quality video like this with new lighting high quality like my setup and everything high quality camera stuff in terms of editing because I haven't been doing much editing sports or anything like that I'm really just not gonna be doing any editing sports videography until covid's completely over because there's just no point in like going through all the hoops and fucking awful like it's just so hard to reserve a spot at a field and like get to 
most people most places you can't even record first of all i can't get on the field access to record and then like jumping through all the hoops to actually get access is just not worth it especially because there's not many sports being played and there's probably not gonna be any spring i don't even know if we're gonna play lacrosse but editing and like videography is just postponed until after covid that's just that's a whole separate thing that i'm probably not gonna be working on until drink of people is like fully automated because that's really what i want to work on now videography to me is like just something i do for fun and then obviously drink of people like e-commerce is also what i do for fun but it makes me money uh, while doing it videography i i make money editing sometimes but it's not really a big thing so for any of you wondering if i'm just gonna make any edits soon i'll probably make a couple here and there i made a juju one the other day when he got rocked by that dude von what is it von not von miller um when he got rocked by that dude after dancing on their logo from the bangles i made a cool edit of that like him dying and like the minecraft theme song his items pop out i probably will do a couple edits like that here and there maybe some skateboarding or snowboarding edits but um not really a whole ton like not really a whole lot of focus on editing this year just because covid and everything until it's over but yeah i thought i'd let you guys know what i was going to be doing in terms of 2021 tomorrow we're going to mount snow everything's going to be vlogged for that it's gonna be so so fun i can't wait for you guys to see that and see more snowboarding content because we actually get to go this year because i actually have a lot of money saved up to be spending on snowboarding trips and i'm super excited to be able to say that and, in and since like school i have this whole month where i'm doing nothing not working not school just get to go snowboarding with the boys so i'm super excited for that thank you guys so much for making the end of this video if you did like it please drop a like down below comment what you want me to make if you any youtube video ideas you have for me or you want to see done like some sort of fishing challenge or some sort of like snowboarding content piece anything just let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your ideas and if you do i'll give you a shout out and everything like that so thank you guys so much for making the end of this video i'll catch you in the next one peace